We are now ready to run analysis. Go to the Analysis tab, click Building Analysis. The first tab is the Pre-Analysis. This is where main assumptions of the analysis can be defined. Pick Settings Center. The first tab is the Code of Practice. This is the code of practice that is inherited from the project template we have chosen when the model is started. You can click to change or select code if desired. Lateral Load tab. Here you can define the notional horizontal load or equivalent horizontal loads. Lateral load factor of 0.005 means 0.5%. Lateral load angle refers to angle of application of the notional loads, measured horizontal anti-clockwise. Life load participation factor affects the calculation of story mass used in eigenvalue analysis, which gives the natural frequency of the model. Lateral drift and bracing defines the bracing conditions of columns and walls. In direction 1, columns are by default assumed to be braced by walls aligned in direction 1. Similarly, walls in direction 2 is braced. Hence, walls in direction 1 is the bracing member. Conversely, in direction 2, walls in direction 2 is the bracing member for columns and walls in direction 1. Sway amplification coefficients. This will be automatically calculated after the analysis, based on the sway classification of the structure. If the structure is classified as sway, the amplification factor will be more than 1, and all analysis moment will automatically be amplified by this factor. Come back here to check the values again after the analysis. If you check user define, you can apply the factors manually. Go to unit and format. This is master setting for all units used in the program. Under analysis, displacement, change meter to millimeters, so that all displacement will be shown in millimeters. Click OK to save and exit. Go to loading combination. Previously we have already generated all the load cases and combination. Let's generate again by considering win load cases and combination. Pick Loading Generator. The automatic loading editor dialog will appear. Under Vertical Load, check all the pattern or load arrangements, including direction-dependent pattern loading. Go to Horizontal tab. Pick Notional Loading and Wind Loading. Define separate negative load cases will split WX into two load cases, namely positive WX and negative WX. Use this option. If the magnitude of the wind load of positive WX and negative WX is determined to be different, else we can use positive and negative sign to control the direction. Leave this option unchecked. Click OK. All the load cases and combinations will automatically be generated. Click OK to save and exit. Click Wind and Story Load. This is where you can automatically generate wind loads, review and input any lateral load, such as the notional horizontal load. Click on the plus sign to expand. The notional or equivalent horizontal load are shown. Currently the magnitude of the forces are zero, these values can only be calculated and shown after the analysis. Hence come back and check these values after the analysis. The X and Y columns are coordinates of the application of the force, which is also the center of the floor diaphragm. For wind W X and Y, currently values are zero. You can manually input wind loads F X and F Y and coordinate of application X and Y. With reference to this diagram, the point of application is the center of elevation. For example W X, we can input a F X value. Only Y coordinate is necessary, as the X coordinate will be ignored. Since the transfer of wind is by rigid diaphragm, formed by the slabs, it is immaterial whether the load is applied at the perimeter or inside the diaphragm. Similarly, for WY, you must enter a value for FY, and only X coordinate is required, Y coordinate will be ignored. You can also auto generate the wind loads using wind load calculator according to the selected code of practice. Review the wind parameters such as basic wind properties, basic wind speed, terrain and surroundings. Click WX. The wind loads will be automatically calculated. Pressure will be multiplied by the story height and either length or width, depending on wind direction to give the total wind load in kilo newton. Click to create this wind report. Review the report. Close the report. Click apply to save and exit. Expand the story folder and the wind loads and application coordinates will populate it. 
remember to expand and check all stories as well to ensure win values are all populated. Alternatively, you can also import win loads from Excel or CSV file. The samples win file are automatically installed in the Protolib folder by default in My Documents. We suggest you make a copy, open the file to edit the values, click Cancel. You can also click Show Reference Win Load Table for a preview of sample Excel format required. Click OK to save and exit the dialog. The preview of default materials, such as concrete and steel grades, are shown in the table. This can be reviewed in more detail or changed by clicking Edit Material. In the Edit Materials dialog, default materials will be used for superstructure. Foundation floor materials will only be used for foundation elements. If a particular story requires a unique material, you can click on plus sign to add story having different material. Example Story 1, OK. Delete it, as we are not using this. Select Default Material. In the right table shows concrete grades, steel grades, and the rebar diameter. Click on any concrete grade. In the concrete dialog, you can change the concrete grade. The properties of the concrete are shown on the right side. You can add a new concrete grade as well by clicking on the plus sign. The selected concrete grade will be duplicated, and you can proceed to change the properties. Note, right at the bottom is an option to apply to all members of this material class in this story, to ease of application. Click Cancel, to exit, without any changes. Click any steel grade. This dialog works the same way as the concrete material dialog. You can change the steel grade, add a new grade if necessary. Review the steel grade properties. To review the rebar diameters used for design of the member, click Edit. You can simply just check and uncheck the rebar diameter to include and exclude it in the design for each member type. The sequence of columns headings corresponds exactly to the left pane. You can place the mouse cursor on the column heading, and the tooltip will show the element. Longitudinal web bar and horizontal web bar is for wall design. Generic is for all other elements. At least one diameter must be chosen for each element. In the left pane allows you to filter to element and show only rebars assigned to that element. This will switch off rebar diameters that are not checked. More than one element can be chosen. Click Cancel to exit without any changes. Click Cancel to exit the rebar dialog. Click Cancel to exit the Material dialog.